I don't remember. <laughs> It's John, a.k.a. Smelly Telly, and I'm hanging out here in Evansville, Indiana at moremusicmoreguitars.com. Today we are checking out the Gretsch Brian Setzer Nashville. It's his signature guitar. So let's say it like this. This is based off of his actual 59 uh, Gretsch Nashville, which I think he called Smoke. Uh, that's a nickname. Uh, but a couple of modern upgrades. Now, he some of these upgrades he's done to his guitar as well. For instance, the locking tuners. Obviously, I don't think Gretsch was putting locking tuners on guitars in 1959. I wasn't born yet, but I'm pretty sure they weren't. Uh, but apparently, uh, Brian Setzer has some on his actual Gretsch too. So, uh, so they went ahead and put it on the model. Uh, another thing that we can't really know for sure, we tried to find out, but we think is a modern kind of touch is the radius. The fretboard radius goes from 9.5 to 12, so it's a compound radius, and we're thinking that was also probably not a thing in 1959, but uh, like I'm wrong almost half the time every single day in every, everything I say. So I could be wrong about that, and if I am, please just let me know. So uh, other than that, the guitar is uh, what you would expect from a, a Gretsch Nashville. It's maple, you know, laminated maple on the top sides and the back. Uh, the fretboard is ebony, so it has that nice slick feel to it. The pickups are kind of special, I guess you could say. So these are from TV Jones, and TV Jones says that these are the absolute best uh, replicas of original Filtertrons ever, and these are the Ray Butts Full Fidelity Filtertron pickups. It's a lot of Fs in there. And uh, we do agree. We do think they sound pretty fantastic. Um, the guitar comes with, obviously, a Bigsby, because you have to have one, right? And then uh, the, the bridge is made out of rosewood, which that might matter to somebody. And then we have two volume controls. You have one volume control for the bridge pickup, and then one volume control for the neck pickup. And then, of course, you have Gretsch's master volume, which I say this all the time, I think is I don't know why, I just think it's awesome. It's one of the best sounding master volumes. It's much better than actually any volume pedal I've ever used. Uh, just keeps the clarity. So from here, things get a little bit outside of my realm of um, experience. Now we have a three-way toggle switch that gives you your bridge pickup, your middle position, and the neck. But what's a little bit different is that instead of having tone control or tone controls, we have a three-way tone selector here. So we'll go through some of the sounds. Uh, some of these are very subtle in the room. We're experiencing a very loud crowd outside. They all can't wait to get in here and buy this guitar. I don't know if it's coming across on the microphone or not, but if everyone in the hall would just maybe keep it down a little bit out there. <laughs> Shh. They don't care. They don't care. They don't respect what we do in here. They don't care about us. They don't care. Anyways, unless it's, if Brian Setzer's out there, then okay, I can understand why they might be excited. So if he is and he's getting ready to come in here and make a big surprise appearance, he should do it right now. And that's just Gloria. Okay, so where were we? We were talking about the tone selector switch. Now, in the room, some of the settings are pretty subtle. Uh, some of them are not as subtle. So we'll see how it comes across you know, in a YouTube video, we're doing the best we can, right? So I've got this in the bridge position. We're on the clean setting right now, and I think I got everything turned all the way up. Ah, dude, I got everything turned up all the way. So, and of course, if you see, I can't help it. If there's a Bigsby thing here, the arm is there, I have to, if it's sticking out, I'm gonna grab it. That's what she said. Anyway, okay, so we're on our bridge pickup, and we have the tone selector switch all the way down. So you would think, that's the brightest tone. Let's see if it's the brightest tone. So just some simple chords. We'll go to the middle position. 
pretty remarkable difference. To me, that sounds like it's an in-between position. And that's pretty dark. Now, let's make sure. Yep, we're still on the bridge pickup. So this is only controlling just the bridge pickup. So to me, what kind of comes across with that, we'll try it with the neck pickup too, is that it's almost like you have two, to me with this all the way down, it sounds like the bridge pickup. And here it sounds like we're blending the two pickups, which we're not. And then when we have it all the way up, it's a little bit darker like a neck pickup. So we're discovering new things together. That middle position is a lot here in the room. I dig it though, I have to say. So, for my taste, that might be a little too muffled, um, but for somebody else, it's their dream come true. But I actually like all the way down the best. So let's go to the neck pickup. We'll save the middle for last. We'll go out of order. Okay. Bridge. Neck. Okay, so we'll go to on our toggle or sorry, our tone toggle. What are you gonna call it, the tone toggle? <laughs> I wish it was Tuesday, it'd be our Tuesday tone toggle. Kind of doing the same thing, right? When I come to here, it does, it sounds like a middle position, like, like two humbuckers in middle position. And then, you know, much darker. Now while that's up, let's go to the bridge pickup. So there's definitely a difference there. Full, I mean it's full without it, you know, sounding completely like it's underneath a blanket, right? Okay, so let's go to the middle position now with our <laughs> tone toggle, our Tuesday tone toggle. Very jangly. Pretty cool. So now we're in middle, middle. So that was one that I, when I said some of time, it, uh, some of these settings are subtle. That's definitely, to me, pretty subtle. There is something different about it. but it's not huge. Let's go to the top spot. So we'll leave it in the top spot and we'll go through all the bridge, middle, and pickups. So starting with the bridge. Middle. Neck. All right, now we'll go to the middle position with our Tuesday tone toggle. <laughs> and bridge, middle, neck. It's actually a pretty good combination right there. The tone toggle is in the middle and then in our neck pickup. Pretty cool, okay, so now tone toggle all the way down. I think that's, did we start with that? <laughs> I'm starting to get confused. So, we started with it up, okay. Okay, so that's it. We've gone through every tone combination that you can with this guitar using at least the two toggle switches, so. Um, Oh, we haven't done any dirt. 
So uh, we're not gonna get super, super, super heavy with this. We're just gonna give it a little bit of, of a grind. Um. <laughs> cool let's go to oh i don't have the strength to go through every single tone combination so we'll just keep this the tone toggle down for now <laughs> that's i actually like that right there and that with a little bit of gain Let's go to the next position. Just for the heck of it. Maybe with some dirt, this is actually pretty cool. That's pretty dark. But you know, maybe some you know that actually could work really well with something like uh, well, like a Vox style amp or something that's got a little bit more kind of upper mids bite. It'd tame it out. Probably work really well with. It. Okay, so we'll do a couple more. Let's uh, let's do tone toggle all the way up, bridge all the way down, or in the bridge position. Tone toggle all the way down. <laughs> Come on now. Whew. I think that was all of them. That's a bunch. Okay. So one thing we know for sure is that these toggle switches work. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we've shown that they work. <laughs> Sorry, just makes me laugh. Okay. I think I've covered just about everything. This guitar deserves a much better player than me, but I've had some fun with it. So I hope you've had some fun with it too. This is honestly one of those guitars too that I think, eh, you, yeah, like you'd be happy with it. Like if you're online and you're looking for one of these for sure, but if you get a chance, you should, you know, maybe come in and play it because I think it's, for me, the playability is phenomenal. That's, you know, I didn't really mention anything about that because we were having too much fun with our toggle switches. But yeah, this is, uh, out of all the Gretches that I've demoed so far, this is my favorite playing wise. So it's pretty cool. And uh, even though I can't play like I'm, I, I've, I've been a Brian Setzer fan since the 80s, you know, since the first Stray Cat stuff started coming out. So it's pretty cool. Anyways, so we'll think of this as, it's like a 59 Gretsch, but with a couple of modern upgrades and, you know, the Ray Butts, full fidelity Filtertrons. And our Tuesday tone toggle as well, too. So <laughs> anyway, I've had a good time. I hope you've had a good time. Uh, if you have any questions about this guitar or anything else, you can get on our website at moreguitars.com or you can call down here and talk to one of our 
fantastic sales associates. They're just sitting there by the phones right now, just waiting for something to do. Not really. They're pretty busy. So my name's John. You can call me Smelly. This has been a lot of fun, and I'll see you in the next video.